Los Alamos National Laboratory is situated in northern New Mexico. It was originally established in 1943 to support the Manhattan Project. Today, that mission continues supporting national defense and national security needs, particularly in the areas of supporting our nuclear deterrence, also supporting the global threat reduction, and also in energy security, ensuring that we have a sustainable energy for the future. The laboratory has about 10,000 employees, 3,000 of which are scientists, 1,000 students, and 400 postdocs. Los Alamos it brings together the best science and best technology to solve some of the country's and the world's most important problems. Exciting areas of research at Los Alamos that are impacting national security needs are in the areas of nano and biomaterials, additive manufacturing, and dynamic material processes. The Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies is a national user facility funded by the Department of Energy. Its primary goal is to understand the nanoscale phenomena of materials so that we can design and control nanomaterials. My research involves the discovery and elucidation of new optical nanomaterials. We aim to go beyond simple quantum size effects and establish complex structure function relationships. In doing so, we hope to establish new approaches for designing the materials and not just discovering them by accident. A specific example of a nanomaterial developed in our laboratory is the giant quantum dot. These nanocrystals have the unique features of being non-blinking, non-photobleaching, and even exhibiting extremely suppressed Auger recombination. This combination of functionality will allow these new nanomaterials to be used in advanced laser technologies, lighting technologies, and even as components in nanodrugs for killing cancers. Imagine a world where our cars or our airplanes could weigh half of what they do today. The amount of energy savings could be immense. Imagine nuclear reactors where we would no longer have to replace components due to radiation damage. These are the types of applications that nanostructured composites can impact. Here at Los Alamos, we have the capability to create these materials through our synthesis capabilities, physical vapor deposition, thermomechanical processing. We also can characterize materials at the atomic scale, looking at how exact atoms are exactly arranged at interfaces. Further, we can investigate the mechanical properties of materials at length scales smaller than a human hair. This allows us to pull together a one-stop shop for nanotechnology here at the Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies. I'm a synthetic chemist, and I'm working to design and synthesize composites. And here we're blending light and electronic active particles, nanoparticles, with polymers, which are soft materials. So these composites um, are really important for moving our economy into new sectors, to advancing um, electronics and computing and information processing, uh, going beyond our limitations we're experiencing in silicon-based electronics towards carbon-based electronics, as well as improving our ability to store energy through fuel cells and in batteries. Additive manufacturing is a way of making materials layer by layer to make a three-dimensional structure. This technology will transform the way we're able to manufacture materials for our national security needs. We are interested in metal additive manufacturing because it allows us to build existing parts, both cheaper and faster. But if we wanted to redesign or create a new part, it allows us to build up shapes that we could not manufacture any other way. What I like to study is looking at the laser or electron beam heat source as it interacts with the metal feedstock, watching it melt the metal and then solidify in order to build up a 3D part. 3D metal printing allows you with a design and a machine to build up just about whatever part you want. It makes you and your garage your own factory floor to create whatever you can imagine. Dynamic phase transformations are very important for us to understand how materials are processed and control microstructure materials, but also how materials perform under dynamic processes. Dynamic phase transformations is a study of how matter transforms from one phase to another in a very rapid manner. An example of this is ice melting and metal freezing. We make, measure, and model metal alloys. We actually 
use real-time imaging to see inside of them while we process them. We use these experimental results to com make comparisons with computer models because our goal is to be able to predict the way that metals develop while we make them. We want to ultimately be able to make metals with intended structures and properties by advanced manufacturing. The insights we gain through the fundamental understanding of materials, as well as discovering of new materials, is going to have a major impact on how we can change the world. Los Alamos provides a unique environment for our early career scientists that allows them to go very deep into their area of specialty, but also allows them to be part of multidisciplinary teams tackling complex problems that they couldn't study at other institutions. 